Hi, my name is Chris Bogue. I've been a Volvo mechanic since 1986, and I like to make widgets. This is a tool that I made for checking the breather system in a Volvo, otherwise known as your PCV system, and really checks your crankcase pressure. Um, Volvo's supposed to have a vacuum in, in the engine uh, uh, crankcase, and if it gets plugged up, if the breather system gets plugged up, it'll push this ball to the right into the bad range, and if you have vacuum, it'll suck the ball to left into the good range. And real simple tool, but it's very effective and it works real well. Uh, easy to explain to people what's going on when you just point to that. Got an old 85 740 here, and we're gonna, I'm going to show you how to check the pressure in this thing. Got to take the cap off and uh, put this tool on there and uh, see what she does. Okay, the ball's over on the left. It's, it's got vacuum, like it's supposed to. And uh, next we're going to rev it up and see if the ball stays to the left. Which it does. It's working fine. Now, in a turbo, you do it a little bit differently. I'll show you an example later on a, a different vehicle. Um, anyways, this, this system here is fine. I'm going to use a 2005 S60 turbo. And we're going to show you how to do it. What we're going to do is we're going to have Jose put it in drive, put his foot firmly on the brake pedal and rev it up to about 2,500 RPM while I take off the oil cap and put this tool on here. And you'll see that at idle, we're going to have good pressure and then under boost we'll also have good pressure. So, Okay, go ahead Jose. Okay, you see the ball went to the left. Now he's going to do a power boost. Okay, go ahead and uh, give it a boost. Okay, thank you. You shut it off. Okay, you notice the ball stayed in the on the left side when we're uh, vacuum. So even under boost, the engine's supposed to hold the vacuum. This is a low mileage engine, so it's not very worn out yet. So it's still not having a problem with this breather system. So that's what you're looking for. Okay, this car here, I don't think it's going to have very good pressure, but let's see. Yeah, it's in the bad already. Yeah, it's just an idle. Okay, uh, go ahead and give it some boost. See the ball. Okay. Yeah, the ball stayed in the bads. It's got high crankcase pressure. That's what we're looking at. The way the Volvo PCV system works is that you have two circuits uh, in the system. You have a, a idle circuit, which is the small vacuum hose uh, that goes to the intake manifold. And uh, the cruise mode is uh, the larger hose that goes uh, typically to the intake air tube. So you can have a situation where your, um, your idle circuit's plugged up, but your cruise circuit's okay. Or you could have a situation where your cruise circuit's plugged up and your idle's okay. The idle circuit is more prone to getting plugged up because you have smaller orifices and little vacuum fittings that go into the manifold. Uh, so a lot of times if you just service those, run some wire in them or something, just clean out those little fittings, you can, you can fix the idle circuit while they haven't changed a whole lot of parts. You've got to change the oil traps in those engines because they get plugged up and not only do they get plugged up internally, but the, the, the sludge will back up into the engine block itself and uh, plug up the orifices in, uh, in the, in the, uh, where the oil drains back into the oil pan and having to pull the oil pan off and, and rot out the, the channels there. So you do have to re replace those two, those uh, oil traps. Another thing I found is that even after doing uh, crankcase uh, service on those things, doing a PCB service, changing all the parts and putting new stuff in all the way across, you can do a test after the service and you'll still have high crankcase pressure. Uh, why that is? Either it's engine wear, uh, possibly partially restricted catalytic converter. Um, it seems to me, at, from observing things, is that the factory Volvo tubing for the PCV system is is not adequate for a slightly worn engine. It's engineered for something really new, and just a little bit of wear uh, seems to make them inadequate to evacuate the pressure from the crankcase. So. Um, uh, you can modify the system. You could you actually use a PCV hose from a Volvo 240. Got the part number here, 
in conjunction with a little fitting from a 740 Volvo Turbo 1332 660 and you can make those work to uh, double the uh, size of the tubing that evacuates the crankcase and uh, in cars that I have had problem with not being adequate uh, after doing the service I've gone back to change that stuff and it's taken care of the problem so a little tip I forgot to mention that that uh, hose I was talking about for the 240 is for a 240 turbo. Um, the other thing you should know is that you can get the, the idle circuit hose uh, from Napa. It's 3 16th inch fuel line and it's a lot cheaper that way if you get it from them rather than the dealer. If you'd like to buy one of these tools, I've got them on eBay for 50 bucks. For this version, I've got some other versions coming out. I don't know the price yet. And I'm also working on a website. Uh, and I'll have some of my other widgets up on that too. So. Um, as for now though, I've got a couple of those left and I have them on eBay and you can get them for 50 bucks and they're pretty handy. Every shop I've worked at uh, the last few years uh, has been using them daily, so thanks. Okay, what we have here is a simpler version of that same tool I've been using. Uh, works very well though. Uh, when the ball is on this side, that would mean that the air is being sucked in. Uh, through this hole, down through the middle, and into the engine, so that would be what you'd want, vacuum being sucked in. If the ball is going that way, it, it means that there's too much pressure inside of the engine, it's pushing the ball out and away. So again, you have vacuum, pressure, good, bad, that's it.